Hello, fellow adventurers. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the heart of Canada, uncovering the best places to visit that will leave you awe-inspired. From the vibrant cities to the untouched wilderness, Canada has it all. Before we begin our journey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update on our travel explorations. Now, let's embark on this unforgettable Canadian adventure together. Number 1. Banff National Park Banff National Park, located in the Canadian Rockies, is a true wilderness wonderland and the oldest national park in Canada. With its crystal clear lakes, towering mountains, and diverse wildlife, Banff is a haven for nature enthusiasts. Many people are drawn to this untouched piece of the globe for the isolation alone, outside of Banff and Lake Louise, which are the park's two points of civilization. There are two popular routes through the park, both filled with jaw-dropping scenery. You can see glistening multicolored lakes, dramatic canyons, beautiful viewpoints, and majestic waterfalls. Whether you have your own car or not, it doesn't matter much, as shuttles service most of the key attractions in the park. Active travelers will be in their element here with the chance to snowshoe or paddle the lake. Meanwhile, wildlife watchers will have an adventure all of their own. Banff National Park is filled with animals, with the most eagerly anticipated sighting being, of course, the grizzly bear. Number 2. Quebec City Quebec City may be the capital of Quebec province in eastern Canada, but its French heritage, architecture, and language give it a charming European village-like appearance. View Quebec is the city's historic district, perched on a hill overlooking the St. Lawrence River. It's the only North American city that still retains its original walls. A walk along the cobblestone streets of the old city allows for encounters with old buildings such as the Citadel and historic sites like the Place Royale, where explorer Samuel de Champlain established the first North American French settlement. Throughout the old city, cafes, shops, and bars are scattered around. The city's icon is the stunning Chateau Frontenac, which is considered the most photographed hotel in North America and offers tours even without an overnight stay. Another impressive hotel is the Ice Hotel, which is open from January to April. This unique hotel features rooms with beautiful ice sculptures. Number 3. Vancouver Island Vancouver Island is the largest island off the west coast of North America, and it was named after the British explorer George Vancouver. It's surrounded by the Pacific Ocean and has a mild climate that makes it an ideal destination for outdoor enthusiasts. The island has many beautiful natural attractions, such as glistening lakes, impressive waterfalls, magical f -jords, and glacial mountains that are popular among hikers. Butchart Gardens is one of the most famous attractions on Vancouver Island, along with the surf town of Tofino and the wilderness in the north. From the north, you can catch a ferry to Prince Rupert or another one to Alaska. The island is also a wildlife hotspot, making it a great place for nature lovers. Number 4. Whistler Whistler, located in the coast mountains of British Columbia in western Canada, is the largest and most famous alpine ski destination in North America. Its reputation is owed to two mountains named Whistler and Blackcomb, 
which offer spectacular skiing opportunities. If you are traveling from Vancouver, you can enjoy the scenic drive along the sea to Sky Highway to reach Whistler in two hours. At the base of Whistler and Blackcomb Mountains, you will find three charming villages, Whistler Village, Creekside, and Upper Village. Visitors can use the peak two-peak gondola to travel from the villages to the mountains. Whistler's origins can be traced back to its past as a logging town. In the 1960s, a ski resort was built on London Mountain with the hopes of becoming a potential destination for the 1968 Winter Olympics. However, the resort didn't host the Olympics until 2010. London Mountain was eventually renamed Whistler Mountain to avoid confusion with London, England. The name Whistler was inspired by the whistle-like sound made by the native hoary marmots living in the mountains. Number 5. Toronto. Toronto, the most densely populated city in Canada with nearly 3 million residents, is a must-visit destination for anyone exploring Canada. Located on the shores of Lake Ontario, Toronto is part of the Golden Horseshoe region, which stretches from the lake to Niagara Falls. As the provincial capital of Ontario, Toronto is also one of the most multicultural cities in the world, with almost 100 ethnic communities living there. More than half of Toronto's residents were not born in Canada, which makes it a melting pot of cultures and experiences. From the iconic CN Tower to the diverse neighborhoods like Kensington Market, Toronto offers a plethora of world-class museums, delicious cuisine, and energy of a cosmopolitan city. Visitors can explore the inner city, surrounded by towering skyscrapers and thousands of multicultural restaurants where street signs are written in different languages. Each neighborhood in Toronto has its own distinctive cuisine, adding to the city's charm and diversity. And there you have it. Fellow travelers, a glimpse into the best places to visit in Canada. From the urban allure of Vancouver to the untamed wilderness of Banff, the historic charm of old Quebec City to the hidden wonders of Gros Morne, and the cultural richness of Toronto, Canada truly has something for every explorer. If you enjoyed this virtual journey, give it a thumbs up share it with your travel buddies, and comment below with your favorite Canadian destination. Don't forget to subscribe for more travel inspiration. Until next time, happy travels.